Jalen, in terms of the defensive efforts you had against Texas compared to today, I guess, how would you kind of describe uh, what y'all were able to do tonight? Um, I mean, we didn't come up with a win. That's, that's the end goal. Um, we just got to keep being better. We show spurts of it, but we got to put it together. So that's about it. In terms of the offense, how did you feel y'all did that? I know obviously you didn't come out with the win, but did you feel like stuff was kind of flowing a little bit better tonight? Um, I, I guess. I mean, we just we didn't win. So at the end of the day, nothing was good. Everything could have been better. Kerwin, uh, obviously you got some some minutes today. It seems like you got your your shot a little, you know, back. I guess in terms of what what's going on with the offense, did you feel like things were going a little bit better for y'all? I'm not too worried about the offense. I think it was just defense for us. Um, you know, we got we made a lot of good shots. You know, we got easy ones. You know, got made some tough ones. You know, we scored a lot of points, but we ain't we you know we ain't getting enough stops. You know, that's I think that was our biggest issue. In terms of uh, what you saw from the defense, or I guess maybe what coach kind of talked to you all about at halftime, I guess what were some things you were trying to adjust and what weren't you able to do that led you all to obviously take the loss? I mean, I think at the moment, uh, at, at this point, it's just like, you know, just about energy. And, um, you know, we switched it up a little bit, you know, played a little bit of zone, played a little bit of man. Um, but at the end, it's, it's all on us. I mean, I don't think anybody really played that great defensively that game. So, um, you know, I think that's just something we're going to have to really lock in on, you know, going forward. Coach, uh, Baylor only commits three. I I apologize. Uh, Jalen, I guess, uh, career high for you. How are you feeling offensively? Um, Obviously, following that Texas game, uh, do you feel like, I guess, how do you feel at this point in the season offensively? I feel like I got to do more defensively. That's all. Offense is going to come. Defensively, I got to bring more boards. I got to get more boards, more offensive rebounds. I got to crash harder. I got to play harder. I got to guard the ball better. I got to do everything better. And Kerwin, uh, how much do you feel like uh, Fardaz's, I guess, presence in the paint uh, allows you guys to, you know, have shooting nights like you guys had tonight? I mean, he's a really good player. I mean, we we really really need him, and we're gonna need him to get better, as, and every, we're gonna need everybody else to get better. You know, I feel like I could have been better, especially on a defensive end, and I think that's that's something that is really just all I'm really worried about. You know, that's all I care about right now. I think you know, offense. I think everyone's fine on offense. Everyone, you know, did their thing on offense. We we ain't too worried about that. Thank y'all. Oh, you can leave me here by myself. Yeah, man. <laughs> Don't give up on us. Don't give up on us. <laughs> That's sympathy for the – feel sorry for the head coach. We left here of the Wolves, so. Coach, how did you feel that Kerwin was getting into the game, was able to get the shots? And was able to make an impact on the offensive end. Well, in you know this particular game, we we uh, were having such a difficult time stopping them that we the only thing we could do is try to stay up with them scoring, and um, we were swapping a lot of uh, twos for their threes, and so we, we thought Kerwin could get in, which he did, and and gave us a boost, and and uh, you know made made some big shots from the three point line. What is it? How does it feel for you that it's a hard loss? But yet your players are hugging you on the way out because they care that much. <laughs> well, they're probably just worried about those questions y'all are going to ask me. But uh, they're they're just you know I, I hurt for these kids. It, my heart's sad for them because they they work hard. They're they're coachable and they're coming a long ways on being coachable and and um, you know they're, they're they're nice kids off off the floor and on the floor and and uh, you know I want the best for them and you know I've been doing this a long time and and. Um, I've seen I've seen all this before the ups and downs and the, you have uh, sometimes tough games and and the bounces don't go your way or the team plays exceptionally well and I just I thought we did a lot of things that we that we could have uh, that we really played well enough to win uh, but you got to give Baylor so much credit for they came out and played. Uh, yeah, coach, kind of bouncing off that. When times do get tough like this, how do you? I mean, these guys obviously have some great morale coming out of a game like this, regardless of the result. How are they keeping it like that? Is it something that you're doing with them? Is it just the individual strength that they have? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, when when you go through these losses, it, it wears on you. And um, and what's important that our guys keep um, keep their head up and, and stay positive, and and you know, no different wooden life. And there's there's certain times that you have a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, or more, and and you uh, you know you learn and just from from uh, from adversity. And then we just challenge these guys not to 
you know, just just not to to uh, give up on themselves or each other. Let's keep fighting, and hey, we're doing that. We again, I, we only had uh, nine turnovers against a very good defensive team. Uh, rebounding was uh, was even. Uh, you know, they the the three point shooting obviously was much better on their end. And they shot better free throws than we did. So, but coming back there at the end, you know, again, was just a great sign of the guys. Uh, they have a lot of heart and they want to win. They're very competitive. And I, again, I also, before I forget, I want to thank our great fans. I mean, they, they helped us get back in the game, and I can't say enough about it. So nice to have our student section back. And, you know, and again, our, you know, our hope is they won't give up on us and, and uh, keep encur you know, encouraging us and, and showing up for the games and, and uh, being loud and rowdy and, and um, showing their support. Uh, the guys mentioned a little bit the defense tonight. What I guess wasn't necessarily clicking that you might have saw that allowed Baylor to have all those uh, buckets? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, again, they're they're just so difficult to guard because they're quick and they're, they they play the four guards and then we have to try to figure out playing some of our bigger guys and so the matchups aren't well and then, and then you know we're gonna we'll learn with Fardos on how to play him more well against those in those ball screens and and um, you know once we get him in practice you know he's he's uh, I, I think he's been to maybe one and a half practices since he's been back and and then Daniel same way Bacho's uh, been. Um, on the injured reserve list, a lot of the, well, for about three weeks, and he hasn't had but a couple of days of practice. So we'll get healthy, and we got all these guys, and you know, it's uh, you know, I just wish we could turn the clock back and start start over November. This would be a heck of a team here, you know, December into December or January, and but it is what it is, and we've got to get ready for the next game, and um, and we will, and and I think uh, you'll keep keep seeing us improve, and and I think you'll see a very tough team by February. Uh, and as far as Kerwin's game tonight goes, was him getting those extended minutes always a part of the game plan, or was it just him having the hot hand tonight? A little bit of both, you know. And, and he, you know, he uh, has a, a good feel on defense, uh, even though, you know, he shoots the three ball well, uh, kind of, you know, knows where to go, has some experience, and and uh, you know, he's athletic. I mean, he, you saw him jump. I think he blocked a shot, and so uh, he's got some other attributes about him besides just shooting. Coach, uh, I know the Baylor's obviously got some. Very good scores on offense, um, but aside from that, how would you characterize their offense? Are they a particularly multiple type of an offense that runs a lot of different stuff? Because it looks like there's a bunch of stuff going on. No, Joe, they do. But but what they do well is that they have three guards that have tremendous freedom, and then they have uh, their their uh, their big man just screens and rolls and rebounds, and that four man can shoot a little bit, but he goes and rebounds. So everybody knows who's going to shoot it, where they're going to shoot it, and these guys. Have the the luxury they can just shoot, uh, you know, off off the off the dribble, coming off screens, and then they're very good at it. I mean, we we've got a hand right in their face, and they're you know making them over and over again. So it's frustrating, but not it's not uh, a surprise to us because we study them and seen the film and know how good they are. But I mean, they give anybody problems. You know, they're similar to uh, you know the way they shoot uh, to the way Kansas State shot last year, and they're shooting well this year. And then of course, the way Kansas puts the ball in the hole from three point line. Mark, as you go back over the last six games, and I, you know, I had to go woulda, coulda, shoulda, but there are probably um, games that you probably could have won during this uh, six-game um, streak. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, four of the, you know, four of the six, it was a, you know, two-possession game, one-possession game. Even Pop makes that shot. I think he gets it to one-possession game. They're late. So again, proud of our guys for fighting back and and oh, we're been, you know, we're competitive and we're going to continue to play that way. These guys have a lot of fight in them. Coach, you said that Baylor was able to get a lot of looks at three. Um, felt like there was a few defensive rotations that were pretty late. Um, is there anything that you're trying to continue and improve on that end? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've had success in the past. You know, I think last year and then even the year before, where we could switch one through five. And even our bigger guys last year with Bryson and Marcus were able to do that. And that's one of the ways you play with, with uh, Baylor is not giving those angles. So they get those three pointers off. And, and um, you know, we, we just uh, we had some. Issues again, a little bit with Dawson and, and Bacho being bigger, and and so there was it was definitely a matchup problem for us. So we'll get fixed. Uh, Coach, obviously you're still thinking about this one, but looking ahead now, in case we don't catch ahead into K State, uh, they're going to be coming off a big win against Kansas tonight too. How do you guys bounce back from a loss like this and get ready for a team that's scorching hot in the Big Twelve? They right are, now? and I, I got told our team after the game, it's. This was an opportunity, but there's another one right around the corner. We got there's, you know, over half the teams in the in the top 25, and we're seeing them every week. So, 
you know, we, it's going to make us better playing good competition. This game made us better, even though it didn't show in, in the in the uh, scorecard. But um, you know, we'll we'll continue to improve, and we're looking forward to that opportunity to to play. I guess right now the best team in the league, and uh, Kansas State's got you know good players to play fast, uh, uh, and um, you know got a great point guard. So we'll have a, we'll have our hands full. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Sorry. God bless y'all.